A Tale of Two Single Wheelers Written and told by July Leonard The Northwestern Railway's main line was very short of engines, so the fat director had decided to bring in two more engines to help out. These engines were both smaller than Thomas and Edward. No cabs, six-wheel tenders, and each of them had a 222 single wheel arrangement, meaning that they were both single wheelers. However, they bear different liveries and different names. The first one was an LNWR large bloomer class, painted in vermilion red with brass fittings and a bit of copper on top of his funnel. The second one was an LBSCR Jenny lined 222 painted light green with red frames, gold fittings, a gold and black nameplate on both sides of his boiler, and bears a black mustache. These here are Bloomer and Ernest, the fat director announced. They will be helping out on the main line. Please make them feel welcome and show them around. He finished and walked away. Thomas and Edward never seen engines with a single wheel before. A pair of single wheelers? pondered Thomas. That's right, replied Bloomer. We were even built in the last century, put in Ernest. And I thought I was old, chuckled Edward. Throughout the day, the two engines showed them everything. That night at Vickerstone Town Sheds, they talked and laughed together like old friends. Eventually, they fell asleep. The next day, Bloomer was to pull a train filled with enthusiasts whilst Ernest was rostered to take a local stopping passenger train. Bloomer chose a rake of green and cream GNR Metropolitan four-wheel coaches. They enjoyed seeing the sights of the railway and taking photographs anywhere they stopped. They even got pictures of Ernest while he was passing by. The next day, after the enthusiasts had gone, the fat director had brought in a strange-looking man to Vickerstown Sheds. The man was a famous artist. He wore a black ber a barrette and a smart-looking coat. He was also carrying some art supplies uh, and a wooden stand with an unpainted paint canvas. The engine that he chose was Ernest. They even positioned him at the tunnel between Vickerstown and Croven's Gate. The fat director even picked out a portrait of Ernest and hunted on the inside wall of his home of Topham Hall near Wellsworth, and remains hung up ever since. Then in 1921, hard times came, and people came to buy Bloomer and Ernest. Thomas, Edward, we want you to know that we're very proud of what you both done for this railway said Bloomer. You two had become far greater engines that we e could ever hope to be. And please make the fat directors railway proud and give credit to it, added Ernest. Soon, they were off for the mainland to their new homes. Eventually, this had left the Northwestern Railway with great difficulty as the end of the war, with its military value, being ending and government support withdrawn. It also resulted in a locomotive crisis and the fat director was placed in charge of finding new motive power. What about Bloomer and Ernest, you may ask? Well, Bloomer was bought by a, herit bought by a heritage railway whilst Ernest was bought by a museum. I'm sure Thomas and Edward had fond memories with the two single-wheeled engines. Don't you?